Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series where I showcase some more of what I've learned about GTA 5 in the almost 7,000 hours that I have been speedrunning the game. First up, there's a weird part of the freeway that if you walk into it, it will cause graphical glitches. There is a house in Los Santos that if you shoot the window, it will show blood. Some vehicles gain additional speed from wiggling from side to side. Most of them have trailers like this vehicle in the mission Pac-Man. On the left you can see me wiggling, hearing a clunking sound while avoiding going too far either side, which would result in my tires squealing. For some reason, the generators in this game do not have any weight. There's an invisible wall in front of this indentation that, while you can move through it, bullets can't penetrate it. Have fun. The random event snatched involves saving a woman from the lost motorcycle gang. It seems as though the developers did not consider that a player might use a helicopter during this event. All is fine until the motorcycle enemies arrive. So you knew those creeps? Oh no 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 no! There's more. They're, they're coming after us. Get rid of them. It seems the rubber banding effect of these bikers was not programmed to consider the height of the vehicle that you're in. At night, NPCs spawn on this balcony that die from a single touch. On the mission crystal maze, it is not possible to get a wanted level. Ah! Going to the military base, oddly the NPCs don't even like to be hostile to you. Better than this, however, is taking the tank into the next mission, Friends Reunited. When you start the mission, for some reason, Wade will spawn inside the tank, which is a one-seater vehicle, but you can still get inside. Looking in the Rockstar editor, it's obviously not a pretty sight. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. No, 
not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seeing him in a while. I should also note that the trailers at the Lost Trailer Park are surprisingly tank resistant. It is possible to acquire the snow vehicles from Bury the Hatchet using golf of all things. First start the mission and get to the airport like normal. Next, when you're in Ludendorff, have the car that you want to take be the last car that you got into, and then die and leave the mission. When you respawn at the hospital, you have to run to the golf course, and yes, it is a very long run. When you arrive, simply start a game of golf and then leave. So, uh, hey, what you look after? Okay, let's do this thing! Yeah, this total shit. Your car will be waiting for you in the parking lot. Unfortunately, this can only be done with golf, it cannot be done with any other activities. When you're on a taxi job and you go to meet your customer, if you hold on your handbrake, they won't get into your vehicle until you release it. Stop that, Terry! Let's get this chariot in motion! At the beginning of Monkey Business, if you call emergency services, it interrupts Dave's dialogue, but oddly, this causes the rest of his dialogue to be played once you get underwater in the tunnels. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. You sure this thing comes out where you think it does? The intel is good. We're 100 yards out. The Devon Western hangar has a handful of oddities. For starters, it has an invisible container on the outside. All this mayhem! Nothing to do with me! Once inside, there is a bit of wall with no collision. Additionally, it is possible to dive under this door to get into a room with no textures. Trespassing! That's the, I'm out of ammo. Trespassing. That's the most you got on me! Hey, I'm just a witness, okay? Although somewhat rare, and perhaps it requires you to be on the mission legal trouble, occasionally the forklift will spawn invisible, and if you get on it, it puts you into a textualist state. Save me from this murderer! No! I'm not coming! Stop! Oh, stop! Look out! Oh! That didn't have to happen! In the mission The Long Stretch, once you've gotten to this room and taken out all the enemies, if you move through the yellow door at the end and then come back, you can clip out of bounds and see a levitating stationary helicopter. In the top back corner of the room, you can dive between these two white objects and you will sometimes be clipped out of bounds. This helicopter is obviously meant to be used for the next section, and destroying it means that you cannot progress. Meeting up again with Stretch and Lamar will simply mean that they will both sit and wait for a helicopter that will never come. On the mission The Construction Assassination, the elevators at the construction yard become active, and their speed is determined by FPS.
Where the fuck is he? I'll blaze all you fools if I have to. I'm putting you out of business. Where's Enzo? In the previous Facts and Glitches episode, I said you could keep one vehicle from I Fought the Law. This isn't true, you can actually keep all three vehicles. Simply have two of the characters upgrade their car and then mission fail without destroying the vehicles. Then have the third character upgrade their vehicle and finish the mission. Each of the characters will find their respective vehicles in the impound lot. For the remainder of this video I will show you all the types of vehicles that give you items. Each of these vehicles has different variations that will give you the same items, but these are just the main types. The FIB Buffalo gives you a carbine rifle. The police cruiser gives you a shotgun. An ambulance gives you a health pack. The police bike gives you a pistol. The police transporter gives you an SMG. The police maverick gives you a sniper rifle. The park ranger vehicle gives you a carbine rifle. The SWAT vehicle gives you max armor. And so that ends this episode. Thank you for watching everyone. If you have any facts and glitches that you think I might be interested in, please feel free to DM them to me on Twitter or put them in my Discord. If you're looking for something else to watch, I have a lot of series on this channel, Pacifist Percent, Chaos Percent, How This Even Ended, or me just rambling about stuff. Uh, feel free to check it all out if that's something you're interested in. I hope you're all doing well.